Are you alright? We're off. Off the first hole, always a bit nerve wracking. It's the first time I've done this in ages, I'm excited. It's this course that's cool, it's a nine hole course, but I think you play it twice and it's slightly different each time. Yo, so this is actually recording now. That was a good start for my first hole in a long time. And the audio wasn't actually working, wasn't recording anything. I've gone long with that nine iron. I hit it good. So I've got a little chip. I'm just gonna go over pitching wedge. Little bump and run pitching wedge here. It's a tiny little two tier to get it up to. So I just gotta make sure I get it above that really. Going for the old chipping technique. Chipping technique? You mean uh, going for the old putting technique? That's got to run, go, go, go. Just about got it on the top of that. Give myself a chance for par, but would have liked it a lot closer than that on the first hole. Par would have been good to settle me nerves. This, I've, got a fit, I've got a good feeling about this place. It looks nice. Greens are in good nick for this time of year. A little bit bobbly, not gonna be too true, but not bad at all, the rain we've had. I think this is pretty straight, maybe a little bit left to right to start with. Right, first putt of the day. See how fast these greens are. They're not that fast, that's for sure. Nervy putt. In for a bogey on the first, not a good start at all. But that's what you get for rocking up 10 minutes before your tea time, trying to set up a camera that you haven't used in ages, scrambling. Yeah, not being prepared. There's some acronym about being prepared. I don't know it. Wasn't prepared enough to learn that, so. Someone will know it. I'm sure they're really good at stuff. But me, I'm a bogey boy. This looks cool, I don't know why, but just look at this little bit. Look at that big old rock in the middle there. I like it. This is cool. This is a cool hole. I can put you up there as well, you get a nice view. So we've got 400, 413 yards. It's looking like it's a big dog leg right. Let me just check. I went to get fitted for a driver yesterday and it was a fucking nightmare. The guy was really good, but I was in this little cage and I just don't like it, I don't feel right. I don't feel like I can swing it properly in there because I feel like I'm gonna hit something. So I was swinging it weird. So hopefully I can remember how I was doing it before I went in there. Because before I went in there, I was hitting it good. It's always the way. Uh, I've gone right. I don't know if you can cut the corner there or What's the crack, but it is not in a good place at all. Already bushwhacking, two holes in. And I've got a little gap there that I can shoot through, so I'm gonna try and just keep it low and punch it through that gap with like a six iron, seven iron, six iron. Oh. Holy shit. I hit that so far, so good. It went and hit that massive rock. It's bounced back like something out of Tiger Woods Golf. Hopefully it's bounced onto the green, who knows? That is actually crazy. It is, it is <laughs> no shit, it has. It ca I came out hot, I hit that rock, and then it's bounced off the rock, and it's landed here. Just a little sand wedge. Try and get it close. Get up and down for par. Go, go, go. Got a nice bounce. Got pretty lucky with the bounce, but yeah, that's good. Got this for a pretty unlikely up and down. It's still got quite a lot on it. Quite a lot of right to left. Well, not loads, but enough. Go on, go, go, go. Oh, that was hideously close. Just last second, just poof, just in front of it. Well, I didn't deserve a par there, let's be honest. So I got very lucky to get off that rock, otherwise it would have been gone. So take the bogey. Man, that last hole was so cool. Uh, I'm pretty gutted that I played it how I did. But we're on to the next one. This is another cool looking hole. Really short par four. It's only 300 yards. You gotta be tactical off the tee. Uh, just gotta take an iron, hit it about, well, I think two, 220 is perfect, but anything around 200 is good. So I'm gonna take a four iron, you gotta go over this hill, slightly into the wind, because there's a sharp dog leg right, so you can't go straight at it. You probably could, but you'd have to go over those trees, and I don't know where I'm going there. I don't know where I'm going at the best of times, so. 
Just play a four iron, see where we get to. I hit that where I wanted to, so hopefully it's all right. Didn't look like it went that far, but it was into the wind pretty strong, so we'll see. Well, I didn't know what I was doing there. I didn't hit it. I hit it into the wind. It didn't go hardly anywhere. It went like 100 and, 170, 180 yards. So I'm still cut out. I don't think I can get a nine iron over there. So I'm just gonna have to take my medicine. First time hitting off the mats as well. I was thinking about trying to swang it around there, but no idea how these mats work. So let's have a look. I'm just gonna hit, I'm just gonna hit it in play because it's a smart move. I mean, <laughs> that's one way to do it. It's weird hitting off this mat. I just, yeah, we'll see how we get on with that. Got all the excuses. Just make pars, that's what I need to do. It's super cool here though. It's like loads of little features. All the holes so far have been super interesting, really different, quirky. I've got a good feeling about this place. I like it a lot. 100 yards exactly to the flag. Probably, uh, especially off this mat, I don't know how it's gonna go off the mat. I'm gonna go over sand wedge, see what it's like hitting off these things. It's really weird, it just looks weird. They've got a really weird finish on the top of them as well. I'm just gonna hit this just to the left hand side of the flag, I'd say. Hit it a bit too far left and probably a bit too good as well. No, it's the right distance. Super weird hitting off them though. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Really weird, strange sound, strange feel. All the excuses today. But it's a stonker of a day. Look at, the, look at this place, it's beautiful. Woof. Very long par park, what a surprise. Just like the others, I've got time. I need to settle down, just really figure this out. And it looks a bit left to right. I pitched it pretty good for distance, almost pin high. But I've been, uh, I mean, this winter, I've been putting in the hours. I've been practicing a lot. I've been thinking about stuff a lot, trying to like actually properly get better. And one thing that keeps coming up is knowing where to miss. So like that, so for instance there, the pin's on the right, and I could see from where I was that there's a dip down there on the right. So if you're short-sided on the right there, it's gonna be almost impossible to get it up and down. So the miss was always left. So you've got a bank here that will run you back down and there's just more room. So I went left because I knew that's where it was, I was going to miss. I just went a bit too far left. Pretty good length. Didn't have the line. It's a tough part. I need to get off, off the bogey, bogey express, get back on the par. Actually, no. Never mind, get back on the bar train, get on it in the first place. Bar train still at the station. So just clean this one up. I knew I was going to do that as soon as I hit it. That's a 10 out of 10 times you'll putt that. <laughs> ah, the old filming. It's great fun, isn't it? Brings out the best of your game every time. Bollocks. I mean, this is a, this is a tricky... This one's making me think. This is another really cool hole. Um, you got this wall just going through the middle of it. The green's 290 yards, but it's uphill, so it must be playing. <clears throat> must be playing a fair bit more than that. So I think driving the green is super ambitious, especially the way that I've gone out the tracks. Uh, it's saying like 300 yards, so it's a massive risk or reward hole, isn't it? You either go for the green and hit an absolute bomb. I would have the win behind. I am pretty tempted, just because why wouldn't you? It's definitely not the right play, but, and I hit my first drive real bad. So I don't know what I'm thinking here, but I do like the look of having a go at this. Got the camera out. Why not? And give it a smack and see what happens. All right. Hopefully it's open up there. No idea. I'm making an absolute mockery of this course already. What have I done? I'm excited. I haven't, haven't played in ages. Just been practicing and haven't filmed in ages, so just going for it. Well, I come up the fairway and just found it. It was just here. So it must have hit that wall and bounced back. Or I hit a terrible drive, but I think I hit it all right. So that's pretty weird. So I must have hit the wall and it's really come all the way back here. So 
Great layup in the end. And now I've got about 105 to the flag. The miss is to the right, and the wind's pushing it left as well. So I'm gonna aim right at the flag with a sand wedge to 55. Oh. It might have hung onto the green. It's so strange hitting off these mats. You feel weird like going down into them. Got that a bit hooky and weird, thin. Okay, that actually ended up all right. Because I aimed right, I actually got a putt birdie. <laughs> Every hole has been weird so far. I hit a wall on that one. It looks pretty straight, maybe a little bit left to right. Not bad, probably missed this one. Simple putt for par. Got that one, thank God. That would have been embarrassing. First part of the day. Now I just need loads of birdies to make up for all them bogeys. Okay, a little par three here. Um, it's playing, it says about 160 to the middle, but it's uphill a bit. I'm gonna take a seven iron. I don't have to win, I'm just gonna take an easy seven iron, putting it off the deck. I think it's quite a slim green. So I'm just gonna go at that, that big tree right in the middle. I mean, I hit that, I hit that so good. A little bit of draw. Hopefully it's on the green. That is much, much, much more like it. Pin high, it's quite a, quite a small green to hit as well. Just uh, been working a lot. Like I said on my game, my irons feel super good right now. Driver's still not quite there, but I'm figuring it out. But yeah, the irons, feeling good. Putter was feeling good, but I just missed the putt from what? foot maybe, maybe a foot and a half. So it's probably not that good. I really could do a birdie. I mean, everyone could do a birdie, every hole, but I've got lots of bogeys, so this could redeem it. Ah. That's, that's annoying, but I kind of expected it. It's a tricky putt. Okay, honestly, this golf course is sick. Like. I fucking love this place already, it's so quirky. I'll just do this again, this is what I just saw. Just walking up, next tee's up there. Walking up over the hill and then boom! Look at that. That's unbelievable. Under 30 quid. That is such a cool hole. That looks lush. It's been raining, it absolutely dumped it down yesterday. So rainy, it looks so nice. I mean, it's quite a long hole, 460 yards, so it makes you hit the driver, even though it looks quite tight. Just don't go left. I shouldn't have said that, but there's a wall there, so it must be out of play. So maybe I should try and just hit it, start it on the left over that tree with a bit of fade. That seems to be what I'm playing today anyway. Too much, way too much fade. I mean, Okay, it's just down before that tree. And I'm there, in the rough. I've still got 200 odd yards left in. And I think I'm gonna take the four iron. I still got loads left, so I'm not gonna get there, I don't think. I'm gonna have to cut it as well. I have to cut it around those trees. Stay in the fairway. I think it just crept into the rough. Wasn't great. Off the mat again. Got about 72 to the flag. I've got a 60 degree and try and fight it down a little bit. And just play like a half swing. Oh, fight it down too much. That's got to spin a lot. It's not gonna. It's really weird hitting off these mats. I know it's an excuse, but I can't get my head around them. Still got some work to do. Hiya. Might be better off chipping this. I'm here with the putter now, so let's go for it. They chipped it. You know when you've been practicing for months and you finally get out on the course and it's just an absolute shit show. <laughs> didn't want to do it for me. I was stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid me. But I'm having fun. I'm out here. It's finally sun's out after years of rain. Just need a lot of birdies. That's all I need. 
Shit, loads of birdies. Let's have a look. Seven. Feels like it slides slightly into the breeze as well. <laughs> no, I won't. It's all carry as well, so it should be the right club. Oh, yeah, that fade took a bit of a bit of distance off it. Just had a lovely little chat with one of the greenskeepers on the tee. It's been here for 30 years, 33 years or something. It's a lovely little course, this. I love it. He was super friendly. He even gave me some advice on the shot to hit. And luckily, I hit a decent shot. Because you know, it's, especially when you've got the camera, someone of the local greenskeeper's giving you advice and then you shank it. That's always on the back of your mind. But I managed to pull off the shot I was actually trying to play. It's a little bit short because it is a bit into wind, but I've got a birdie putt and I need it real bad. I might just go straight at it. I'm not too sure what's going to happen there. I need my caddy. I need the greenkeeper back. It's got to go. It's got to go. I had the line. Can't leave them birdie putts short. That is pretty horrible. In for par. So it's another par four, quite short, but it's another dog leg. I've got to hit it at least 200 yards. I feel like the wind, I'm into the wind again. It's just turned, is it? Yeah. This is tricky because I can't really, I have to absolutely beast the four iron. But a five wood's too much, so I've got to just try and stay on the right hand side so I've got a better look in at it to get over the trees. Just try and absolutely crunch this. I didn't do that at all, I just didn't hit that well at all. Absolute shite shot off the tee. Just dribbled a four iron to here. Still got about 170 in. I've got to go around these trees. I'm going to try an eight iron and then try and hook the head out of it. Off this weird mat, all sorts of stuff going on. I can't do that. So I've got to go down on the, I've got to choke down the grip a little bit. So I'm going to have to go seven iron which isn't ideal, so you've got to go down the grip a bit because it's the height of the ball. That could be a weldy. That could be an absolute weldy. The only thing is it might be too much because I closed the face so much to hook it around there. It might have got the extra distance, so it might be too much, but if not, that was, that was bloody good. Um, <clears throat> didn't quite make it, uh, but it was a hell of a shot. It's just stopped dead here. Go okay, run on, run, run, run. Wasn't bad. So part of what that um, greenskeeper was saying was, this is a protected area. It's like a site of in scientific interest. And that's because there's these stones. See the rock behind me just there? They're some of the oldest rocks in the whole world. Something like 640 million years old, these rocks. They've seen some shit. They've seen a lot of bogeys. They've seen a lot of trebles. But have they seen the par save from an impossible angle from me? Will they see a par save from an impossible angle from me? I highly doubt it. But watch out, Rock. He might be in for a treat. It kind of looks like a face. Now I've said it, it does look like it's looking at me. I can't stop looking at the rock. Here we go. This is for you, rock boy. Rock man, rock granddad now, I guess. That's for you, buddy. Fucking love ya. You. You've been here a long time. You'll be here for a lot longer than me, but I doubt you'll ever forget the time <laughs> that I saved part here. Fuck yeah, rock man. Good up and down, good par. Where them birdies at? What a surprise, it's another amazing hole. Look at this. Another crazy dog leg, so you can't cut the corner because the, the hole's over there, but you can't go through the trees, so you've got to hit it about 220 yards. Okay, you need to get it there as well because the four iron's not been good today. Because yet again, if you don't get it there, you don't have a sight into the green. So it's, it's like they've really thought this out. 
It's cool, they've crammed a lot into a small space. So I'm gonna hit a five wood. I'm gonna try and keep it on the right, if I can. And then try and play a little cut, so that take a little bit of the distance off it as well. Those are all things that I think are gonna happen, but they might not. So a little cut from the left tree. I mean, that's pretty much what I said, isn't it? That's pretty much perfect. Fucking rock guy saw it too, he's still there. Yes, rock man, what do you think of that? This guy thinks I can play golf. Let's have a little interview with rock man. What do you think of that, rock man? You've just seen the get up and down from no man's land, and then a lovely tee shot, what do you reckon? That is super insightful. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, I never really thought of it that way. Makes total sense, fucking hell. This guy, he knows. 91 yards left, that's a lovely shot. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm into the breeze a bit. I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go with not quite a full sand wedge, 55 degree. Okay, wind I thought was hurting, hopefully it is. Yeah, it's all right. <coughs> Just went a bit left, but should be about pin high. Outside chance at a birdie. Still weird getting off those mats, especially with the wedges, because you don't take a divot. God damn. Never had the line, so not too bothered about the pace. If I'd hit it harder, it would have gone more offline. Part to finish the front nine, but at least I know now the beauty of this is. I go back around the same nine, slightly different holes, slightly different tees, but I know the layout, so I've got no excuses. So if I play bad on this nine, it's all down to me. Back on the first tee, or the temp tee now. This is cool, I like this. Like, when the holes are that good, I don't mind going around there twice. And now I know what I'm doing, or what, like where I'm supposed to go and stuff. So hopefully this back nine will be a lot better, because the front nine was not great. But I haven't played in a while. Haven't done a video in ages. Having the camera makes a difference. Right, <clears throat> I think I'm away. Just going to take the five wood. Couldn't hit it better. Much better start. Right, this is the back nine. I'm looking to go round. I mean, I'm hoping to go round even part of the back nine. That'd be good. Good drive. 85 yards left. Well, oh, good five wood. I know what this green looks like now, so this is at the front of the green, 85. So I can pretty much take a full swing at this because I've got to choke down on the grip to because uh, the ball's up on that. Hit it a bit thin, but I didn't take a massive swing at it. Hopefully that'll be on it. That's much more like it. That's what we want to see. Get a load of these on the back nine make some birdies actually drop and I'll be all right. Just knowing what the green's like makes such a difference. Knowing where the misses are, that's the, that's the shit I'm trying to improve on. It's really thinking about, I mean I'm striking the ball really well at the moment with my irons at least and my fairway woods, just not my driver but course management still could do Take some strokes off, I reckon. It's looking fairly straight, maybe a little bit left to right. Okay, start the back nine with a birdie. Didn't hit it. Didn't hit the fucking thing. That's so weak. It's probably the best chance I'm gonna get all day at birdie. Didn't even get it to the hole. Pathetic, back on this hole. Absolute beauty of a hole. Now I know about those rocks, 600 million year old rocks. How you doing, buddy? Your, your mate was good for me. Can you be good for me too? Send me the right way. So now I know there's plenty of room on the left. My bag is probably the line I want to be taking. I can aim it left and hit it with a cut. That is the way to do this hole. That's way more like it. That's the way I should have played it. Easy when you know. 190 to the middle, so I've got a six iron. So it's 177 to the front. I seem to remember short was better than long, so I'm going to go for a six iron. I think it's kind of at that tree. I hit that real good. Lovely little draw. I think that's good. I don't know the exact line, but if that's 
It's exactly where I was trying to hit it. That is much, much more like it. Must have carried it about 200 yards. Just stopped dead here. I've got to look at Birdie again. Yeah, boy. Um, quite excited. Out here by myself doing this thing. I even managed to get the lovely rocks in the background. I don't know if you noticed that. Look at that. Nice little rock in between me and the ball and the flag. One of these birdies has got a drop of me. Oh, they just don't want to drop for me. They just don't want to go. But it's a lot better than the last time round. So yeah, knowing where the green was, big help. It looks like it's going to rain. We've had rain all winter over it. Thought I had a nice sunny day. The rain is coming. Uh, this is cool. Where am I now? So another par. I feel like I've got a few pars in a row now. 222 yards. But I know I've got to play more, so I've got to play at least a five wood, but it looks really far from here. This looks super far, it's into the wind as well. This, this is tricky, this is really tricky. Like, I, I mean, I've played this nine already, but this is a different tee this time. So they've switched it up and you're elevated, but you're completely blind, I can't see anything. I don't know if they've gone or not, people in front of me. <sighs> can't see. Oh yeah, they're gone. It's called Ludie Loves Golf. I've got Instagram as well. Yeah, I just thought I'd do it. Just trying to, uh, 5.7 at the moment. Yeah, trying to get trying to get down. I've just got a bit of time to do it, you know, and I thought, fuck it, I, I enjoy playing golf. So whilst I've got an opportunity to do it, I'll give it a go. Is that too far left though? Yeah, that won't be OB. Yeah, it's so hard to know where to hit it off this tee. You can't see them in. Oh man. What was I saying about it being nice? Oh, fuck, it's hailing now. It's ridiculous. Need to find a tree and just hide under it, I think. We get the camera fucked. We've got 172. It's hailing. <laughs> got lulled into a false sense of security. We'll go with a 7 iron. Don't know how it's going to fly through this hail. I just need to hit a shot, I think. Get out of here. Bit left, get right. Just to the left of the green. Absolute classic British weather. Thought I finally got a nice sunny day, but no. Ugh, it is pissing it down. Try and chip this one. I think it's gonna rain as well for the rest of the round, so that's absolute bummer. <sighs> that is shit. What am I gonna do? I don't know if I can film in this. Might have to abandon play. Camera's gonna get wrecked. I'll finish this hole and then I think I have to call it that. It just absolutely <laughs> nutted it down. That was crazy. I had to put the camera away, it was too wet. I, I don't know if the mics can take the, the rain. I think the camera's all right, but the mic's not be. I'm soaking, I'm soaking, the course is soaking, gloves soaking. Uh, I just played three holes that I didn't film. Part, part, first part four with the wall, hit a nice five wood, hit two on, just missed the birdie putt. Had that uphill par three, like skimmed a seven iron, so it was hammering it down. Just about got to the green and then two putted. And then the last hole, that beautiful hole where you start at the top, like hardest hole, long par four, I got a five. I think it might even be a, it might be a par five, but anyway, we're back on this par three. I've got a six iron in my hand. That's what happened last time and it worked. So, the sun's come back out, classic British weather. Let's see what happens. This. It's not good, but it went so far left. Run all the way down to the right. It's just to the left of the green. So not a great hit, but got away with it. It rolled, it rolled, it rolled, absolutely miles. Decent. Hopefully tidy up that. I missed one closer than that today. So that's definitely not a gimme. Yep. Up and down for par. Right, took the four iron here last time. I think it was the play. But I didn't hit it very well last time. 
I didn't hit the damn thing. So this time, I'm gonna try and hit it good. And I'm gonna hit it more right, so I've got more room to splosh it off into the left. I know what's up there now. This is the beauty of playing, playing the holes again. And this time I've got a tee as well, so. Another thing, when I was, uh, just gonna mention it, why not? When I was getting fitted yesterday, the guy was like, you hold your, you hold your, you like, you have them like way too far down on the grip, but he's like, you're supposed to have your hand like almost at the top of the grip. And that's actually why it gets wider at the top to stop your finger from touching this part of your hand, which I never knew. So if you didn't know that either, now you do. And I started hitting it quite a bit further. So I've been losing out on distance because I haven't been holding it in the right place. That was bloody lovely. Lovely little draw, that's perfect. If that's not right, this isn't the club to be using because I hit that sweet. Turns out, probably not the right club. Still got quite a lot of room up there. I mean, if I hit it a bit more right, it might be right. But I still blocked myself out and I hit that as good as I could. So now I've got 145 to the middle. It's right at the back. 157, so it's like an eight iron. I'm gonna try and turn it around a little bit, actually. Do it a bit higher and turn it around. That's exactly what I was trying to do. So is it gonna have the, the legs? Oh, baby! To see it through that gap, the, my rock mate will be happy with that. He'll be like, oh, here he comes. That is nice from there. Here he is, rock guy, the dude. What's up, mate? Uh, that was a lovely shot, hey? Yeah, nice, thanks. Both of those shots have been real good from that position to hook it round there. I actually watched a little thing yesterday on YouTube of uh, Tiger Woods showing you how to hook it round the corner. So I had a bit of inspiration from him. Although he's actually like, he obviously the best player ever, but he's, <laughs> his, his tuition video, sometimes you're like, mate, what are you talking about? Like, he, he can't teach it because it's all feels. It's like, he's like, yeah, I just feel like my right hand just guided round about 150 50 yards to the left. I get a bit of curve and then I just feel like my right hand just sweeps underneath the ball a little bit. Just tickles it, tickles it, but the gist I got was you just gotta go out there and hit a majillion balls from from the time you're in the womb. As soon as you come out the womb, start swinging, and then you get the feel, and then you can try and explain it to someone else, and no one's gonna have a clue what you're talking about. Cheers, Tiger. Just badass me. Hope he gets another win. That'd be pretty cool. One more major. Right, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking about Tiger there. It's pretty straight. Maybe a little bit right to the left. Here we go, rock dude. You got me on this one too, bud? I need to give this a good old hit. Oh, I didn't turn. Got it past the hole at least. That's kind of annoying. Sorry, rock dude. Would have loved a birdie there. Would have loved to have given you a birdie. But a par it is. Two pars for my man. Fucking solid, that guy, by the way. Don't, don't start a fight with him. Here we go, last hole. Last hole, I have no idea how many over I am. Same again, straight. Peel it off the left a little bit. Just like that. That is delightful. Beautiful. Love a bit of that. Last tee shot of the day. So to sum it up, it's been great, I've had a lovely time. The weather's been British weather. Nice one minute, really bad the next. 92 to that flag, into the wind. It's gonna be a sandwich. Would I recommend this course? Hell yeah. I think it's a great course, it's brilliant. I really enjoyed it, it's really quirky. It's really different. Um, seems pretty chilled, members seem pretty nice, ground keepers lovely. Um, all the holes are really different, even though it's only nine holes, you've got to play them twice. I've never really done that before, but I'd, I'd happily do that here. I don't know if I'd be a member. It might get a bit, bit boring after a while if you're a member here. But to come for a visit for under 30 quid in the week, well, it's Friday today, can't fault it at all. Beautiful course, really well kept. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend. Let's see if I can finish on a birdie. So I haven't played great, have I? I didn't learn from last time, the wind takes it around there. It's solid, it's on there, but <sighs> never mind. Doesn't matter, I've had a good time. Could I finish it with a birdie? Can it be done? 
Of course it can. Will it be done? I'd say I've got a 10% chance, if that. Go right to there, a little bit up the hill. Just gonna, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna try and put the ball in the hole and see if I can do that. Oh, you could have done it. You could have done it if you hit it a bit harder. Lovely course, great company. Lovely weather. Better go to work now, eh? Go call some bingo numbers. Cheers.